एवरी वन वेलकम टू चैनल बायो अस्मिता बाय अस्मिता मैम सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ टूडेज टॉपिक दैट इज टाइप्स ऑफ इम्यूनिटी अंडर हेल्थ एंड डिजीजेस ओके बट बिफोर मूविंग टू टॉपिक आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट यू मस्ट नो फ्यू बेसिक पॉइंट्स अबाउट दिस टॉपिक एंड आई हैव कंप्लीटेड दोज पॉइंट्स इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो सो प्लीज वॉच इट आई हैव प्रोवाइडेड लिंक ऑफ द सेम इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स so let's start with the types of immunity basically immunity is divided into two categories that is innate immunity and acquired immunity so let's start with innate immunity this is the type of immune response that we have since our birth so it is also called as inborn immunity actually it is due to our genetic makeup and it provides four barriers to keep the pathogen away from your body the first is epithelial surface second is physiological barrier third is cellular barrier and fourth is antimicrobial substances keep in mind the aim of immune system is to keep you free from diseases so this epithelial barrier keeps the pathogen away from your body but if somehow pathogen enters inside body then these three factors try to remove it okay so let's start with first factor that is epithelial surface under epithelial surface the first factor is skin it is the main barrier which prevent entry of antigen a very simple example of it like suppose you want to protect your important and delicate gift then you will wrap it or cover it properly right similarly our all precious organs are covered by a skin and so ultimately skin protect us from infection also it has bactericidal and fungicidal property due to sweat but at certain areas body openings are there like eyes ear mouth excretory opening and reproductive opening and from this opening pathogen may enters so to avoid their entry these openings are with mucus coat so pathogen get trapped there only understood see i have included those points here i hope you understood this now the next is physiological barrier i hope you understood that previous factors try to keep pathogen away from your body but if pathogen enters then this physiological barrier prevents its growth and it is done by four factors that is acid in stomach saliva in mouth tear from eyes and fever yes fever comes under this category because it increases other physiological factor and gives heat shock to pathogen means fever is good for us but guides it doesn't mean you should not visit doctor don't forget you must consult doctor during your fever attack understood now third barrier that is cellular barrier which directly try to kill the pathogen okay and as per name this cellular barrier is with different types of cell okay see certain types of leukocytes means wbcs of our body like polymorph nuclear leukocytes that is pmnl then monocytes natural killer cells macrophages and macrophages performs phagocytosis and destroys pathogen understood now fourth is antimicrobial substances which is basically made up of complement system and cytokines now what is mean by complement system it is actually a group of more than 30 serum proteins which are circulating in the blood but in inactive state if pathogen enters then complement system get activated and it secrete soluble protein that is cytokines see here i have mentioned one example of cytokine that is interferon proteins virus infected cell secrete interferons which protect non infected cell from further viral infection 
okay so this is all about innate immunity now we will move toward acquired immunity now first of all what is mean by acquired immunity see the type of immunity which get developed after birth is called as acquired immunity it is pathogen specific having memory and shows two responses that is primary response and secondary response now what is mean by primary response suppose a pathogen enters in our body for the first time then response shown by immune system is called as primary response which is with low intensity but if same pathogen enters in the body for the second time then the response shown is called as secondary response which is highly intensified keep in mind this secondary response is quick and stronger compared to primary response means definitely our body appears to have memory of first encounter right now we will discuss about types of acquired immunity so see acquired immunity is basically due to antibody see antibody look like this basics of antibody we have discussed in earlier video but here i would like to add an extra point about antibodies that is we are having five types of antibody now see the trick to remember names of those five antibody okay see definitely you all know the spelling of game right so write down that spelling and put d alphabet after it so the alphabetic sequence will be g a m e and d right and these five alphabets means are five antibodies that is antibody g antibody a antibody m antibody e and antibody d understood now see on the basis of involvement of these antibodies acquired immunity is divided into two types that is active acquired immunity and passive acquired immunity so let's start with active acquired immunity see if antibodies are produced in the host body then that response is called as active acquired immunity it means this active this word is for own antibody okay and this active immunity is again divided into two types that is natural active acquired immunity and artificial active acquired immunity first we'll discuss about natural active acquired immunity let's consider you are perfectly healthy okay and you have not taken any vaccine previously but somehow pathogen got enter in your body and still your immune system is producing antibody then this response is called as natural active acquired immunity okay now what is artificial active acquired immunity keep in mind active term is for own antibody but what is mean by artificial suppose previously you have taken a particular vaccine like polio vaccine okay so with the help of that polio vaccine your immune system had already produced antibody against polio virus okay now suppose at this time same polio virus enters in your body then your stored antibodies will attack polio virus and that response is called as artificial active acquired immunity understood now let's move to passive acquired immunity see just we learn active means immunity due to own antibody now passive means immunity due to external or ready made antibodies okay now what does this mean suppose because of some reason your immune system is not able to produce antibody means active response is not there then to save life we can take ready made antibodies from external sources then it is called as passive acquired immunity okay now from where and how we are getting those antibodies according to that 
passive acquired immunity is again divided into two subtypes that is natural passive acquired and artificial passive acquired okay now what is natural passive acquired see as i told earlier acquired is for antibody passive is for ready made and now natural means your own mother see when we are getting antibodies from a mother then that immunity is called as natural passive acquired immunity see this pic of super mom every fetus get antibody g from placenta during pregnancy period and antibody a from colostrum that is from mother milk so don't forget natural passive immunity is due to our super mom okay now next is artificial passive acquired immunity again acquired is for antibody passive is for ready made antibody and artificial is for other animal means if you are getting ready made antibodies from other animal then that immunity is called as artificial passive acquired immunity see example horse serum for rabbits and anti tetanus injection for tetanus understood this is how types of immunities are completed see on this page i have summarized those all types of immunities it will be easy for you to recall them at a glance okay i hope you understood what i tried to explain if you are having any doubt regarding this then do ask in comment box okay so this is all for now see you soon with next video lecture on most important topics for neat and cet and how to score more than 300 marks in coming neat exam okay and the last point if in any way you are finding this video helpful then please do like subscribe and hit the bell icon to get timely notifications thanks for watching